be arrested for obstructing justice. I need a clear line of sight. Move now. Get out the fucking way. All right, Lester. I got us the tag team rifles. All right. Then this score is ready to go. Come inside and meet the crew. All right. I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals. We all know the score. We're going to execute the plan. We're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched. This meeting never took place. We don't know each other. Is that clear? Now, we've um, looked very, very carefully at the plans. We considered something more complicated, but given the location, the weakness of staffing, and the exit points, we believe that a more simple plan will work best. We're going to hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him. Fifteen seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? 
Good luck, everyone. Let's go. Waiting on you, kid! Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes, everyone else with me. Gus, Eddie, I need you in the back of the van. Franklin's driving, I'm in the passenger seat. Listen up. The four of us in this van, we're about to become accomplices in a major crime. I gotta be able to trust you with my life, my liberty, my reputation. Same goes the other way. A crew will only work, only work, when there's trust. So, in the interest of fostering that type of relationship in the short time we've got, let me introduce myself. I'm Michael. I've done this type of thing before, more than a few times. And I've made good money doing it. Enough to spend a long time not doing it. I hope it goes without saying, I know a lot of people. Anyone yaps about me or any of you, you'll be dealt with. Got it? Good. Now, Frank, over to you. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Franklin, dawg. And, um, I'm new to these kind of planned out detail robberies. I've done my shit small jobs, you know, liquor stores, warehouses, boosting cars. But then I met this dude right here, Michael, man. And he turned me on to this thing. So, who's next? I'm Gustavo Casmota. I'm from East Los, know what I'm saying? It's a bang for the barrels, but hey, don't tell him I told you that. I might need them homies if I go away. I guess I found out pretty young I could pull a trigger. But it was a couple of years before they started doing it for bread, know what I'm saying? Instead of that repping where you from bullshit. And here we are. Uh, all right, this is Eddie Toe. He'll be cleaning out the cabinets and handling the getaway. He's got you some bikes for that. All you need to know about him is he's good. This is it. Let's move. Go get the bikes. Let's go! Okay. Ah! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. On the floor, now! Go, 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 go! I'm on the display cases. I'm able to get you around a minute and a half before the alarm will reset itself. 90 seconds! All right, that's why we pay you what we do. With a window like this, we should be able to... Shit. On the floor, lady! On the oh, fucking floor! Shit. Gee, oh. nice work on the crowd! You're worth whatever oh. we're paying you, oh. buddy! A minute left. Stay down! Stay down! Don't tell my wife I got all these jewels. Not a lot of time left. Cleaning them out. 50 seconds. Keep it up. Keep moving quick. You're doing great. My wife is like it in here. Quick hands. Let's do this. 40 seconds. All right, we're running out of time. We got to step it up if we're going to hit the target. Don't be stupid. I'm bagging it. We're almost out of here. Emptying them out. Half a minute left. I'll pop you in a heartbeat. Hey, we hit our target. Let's see how high we can go. 20 seconds. Keep it up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's clear this place out. Who's doing this? Keep moving. <laughs> We're on the clock. <laughs> you, don't try it. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, baby, we got it all. Let's go, let's go. So for the last time, move it. Make it the fuck out of my face. Oh, oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. It's go time! Stay on me, across here. Let's go! Hard left here, going under the big road. Force and drive. Hey, keep moving! Bro?
Headlights on now. Stop at the end of the river, and we'll get the bikes into the truck. What is this bullshit? Waiting on you, kid. Lester's around the corner at the lockup. What is this shit? Oh, fuck, man. I thought I was gonna be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be stuck under a cop car. There gotta be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah. We did it, baby. We did it. Fuck. We did it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, one step closer to retirement. I won't say it went off without a hitch, but it went off. All right, people. We need to split up. They're going to be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. That shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. Oh, 
Oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file. What is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Hey, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Nothing. Really? Criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert's story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into it. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. This is one of them. That was pretty scary. Back to you in the studio. You wanna get lit now, sugar? Tre Trevor, baby, you wanna you wanna smoke up now? Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Trevor! You been with my girl again? I'm speaking with you, asshole! Don't do it, Johnny! I told him, Trevor, I told him! We all get high! We all get high! But that don't Leave make it, it right! Johnny. Leave it! The crystal has got us, babe, but that don't make it right. Don't make nothing right! Not what you've done with me! I'm telling Johnny, leave it! I ain't leaving nothing! Trevor! I'm talking to you, motherfucker! Are you? What are you saying? Fucking my girl, man. It's wrong. Well, I gotta fuck someone. You want me to fuck you instead? I is that the problem here? Take off your pants, cowboy. All right, let's let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! I told him to leave it, Trevor. I told him leave it, leave it. Shut up, Ron. I'm about to fuck me a method, ain't I, cowboy? Get my boy sucked from his toothless gums, huh? Fuck you, Trevor. Oh. I still love her. All right, cowboy. Hey, I know. Hey, come on. Shh, I hey. don't mean nothing by it, man. I just... I know. I messed up. I know, cowboy. It's okay, man. Give me a hug, yeah. Shh. <laughs> fucking shit! Cut! 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 Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? You fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Fuck you, then! Johnny! Wait! <laughs> The wheels are in motion. We gotta reach out to the rest of them. Wait, this ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh, my cousin's there, but I don't... Find him, Wade! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert, and then quiet down that bitch Ashley you was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect... <laughs> Clever to disrespect women. Disrespect? You. What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. The bikers are 
meant to be over by the farm on the right. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did, just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you mess him with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. If that van takes us back to the camp, this area ain't gonna have a biker problem much longer. We can't fuck with the van, but we can drop those bikers. Did you see the look on their faces? We scared them, didn't we? Yeah, thank fuck they didn't make you for the harmless idiots you are. You need to feet mount back here, or strapped or something. I only keep things in the back. I don't mind losing. Oh. Gotta slow it up, man. That's a sharp left. Uh, I can't see us taking out all the... Hell, he fell. Hell, I fell. Taking out all the bikers this go, boss. I mean, there'll be some by that airstrip, and some over, you know, by the... If not today, their time will soon be upon them. If we go off the side on the left there, we should make it across. to kill some bikers. Uh, I got that thing with the fine thing and, and the low stand code. You know I'm not that good with the... Uh... Oh, I guess it falls to me. We're right on these bricks. Right on top of them. This 
is hard for me, too! I've had to kill half the tweakers in the county! I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? And get me some sticky bombs! Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas. It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky, and one of the lizard people. I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the end. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. Our enterprise ain't just about meth. It's about guns, too. The Aztecas control the guns, so we're taking them out. Here he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, don't come do on. Don't Ortega do runs the whole county. He don't anymore. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Say something, don't make it true. You're out of business, my friend. The shot callers ain't gonna be happy. You sure you wanna do this? I'll go away, man. But my people... I think he gets it. They're gonna greenlight you after this. Think about it. I thought you was... Uh... Oh, that feels better! <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more. Let's get out of here, man! Quick! This is an unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not! No way! You're a man of your word! as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am. I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in 10 years time saying, all is well. Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Danley, yes it is. Oh, you told me about him, your old running buddy. And who is the other one? Brad is the other one. 
locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out I can survive that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? I knew what happened. I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, or some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron. I need time to think. Run! These things, they're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the inn. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. You're still banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. us. Chef, we're just coming down to see the kid. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. We're part of the slow meth movement, bio-regional, local wars only. 
Mr. Chang Sr. has much money. I wouldn't be the first man to throw morals out the window for a paycheck. Shit, Trevor! We ain't got long! Whoa, 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 whoa. manners, chef! These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lo uh, Shung! <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So fun. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Help. Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little spring clean. Ortega has only been cool with us before. Uh, Ortega's dead, and so's your crew! 
Get back inside and clean up the lab! I should, uh, check on the Chinese delegation. They might be catching a chill. Alright, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage, this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic Midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition.
Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm waiting at the water tower, boss. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Up here! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road! You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? If the man wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to cut that short. Don't joke! He's right there! Rub him out! He's gonna figure it! Take him before it's too late! <gasps> He's gonna kill me, man! Please! You should have seen the look on his face! Wait! A guy came out of the control tower! Get him quick! This ain't a joke! And they all came tumbling down. Clean shot, Trev. Another guy's coming out of the tower. Must be looking for the one you shot. So long, sailor. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Please, just cover me. I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I can't. There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. There's another guy coming out of the building. Good kill, Trevor. I'm fitting it. Just keep a lookout. And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. Someone's coming. He's gonna get me before I finish. He sees me! He sees me, Trevor! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! I've always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get them guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here! Try and hit the pilot when he's settled! They might think he crashed! Might they? They might.
Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, sure I was. I see a signal. You think that's your guy? Affirmative. Make the drop. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on their radar. Shipment 
successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. And get better at it, or fly through a barn. Or would a barn slow me down? Fort San Kudo coming up. If we fly low, we ain't gonna show up on military radar. Keep low, over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
is not for pain, but to get high. Hola. Gracias por la respuesta. Bueno, my ad on graphic is for a video editor. Yeah, someone from the street like me. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jiahuo? Why, sir? Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Dead.
bleeding ass. I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect him. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. Overtime! This don't look like a larger operation to me. You assholes! Here I come, you pricks! Murder you prick! It's fucking Trevor fucking Phillips! Come on! 
You asked for this, assholes! You disrespectful pricks! Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two... Michael Townley living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. Can... Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? You I could do. Now you got me hating. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... Uh... I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Okay. 
make it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Wait here. Don't get killed. Don't be long. government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family? In a house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything. 
Bing bang act, P! Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? Get the fuck out of here and go dig yourself a grave! Uh, uh, pl please, Trevor! I, I thought you wanted to meet Cousin Floyd! Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, that's it. That giant sprawl, Los Santos. This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. Not what you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Mifuchi Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike, Nish, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Whoa. Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I seen it on the iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Keep it straight now. It's straight here. I turn right here. It looks like the other way on the internet. Just right. keep on a minute. This one's a left. Mm -hmm. You don't turn here. This is the place. I think it is, at least. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your 
cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you wait! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never true. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck! Ah. 